Greetings, everyone. During a recent appearance on The Daily Show, the internet talk show host known as Charlemagne the God, who is no conservative, dared to criticize the far left's DEI initiatives. DEI, as you know, is diversity, equity, and inclusion. As you also know, DEI initiatives are subversive programs that indoctrinate captive audiences in corporate America, the government, the military, and of course, schools across the country into believing the demonstrable lie that America is a systemically racist nation and that minorities are oppressed and denied access to opportunities, positions of power and wealth, etc., that all white people supposedly have. Charlemagne stated that, quote, the truth about DEI is that although it's well-intentioned, it's mostly garbage, unquote. That comment triggered the left big time, of course, not least because Charlemagne is black, and few things spark leftist anger and condemnation, like minorities who don't know their place on the Democrat plantation and who don't toe the progressive line. He went on to say, quote, You know I'm right, because every one of you has sat through one of those diversity training sessions and thought, this is some BS, unquote. He also added that hundreds of studies have demonstrated that DEI programs simply don't improve race relations in the workplace. Go figure. Of course, they're not actually designed to improve race relations in the workplace, but that's a topic for another day. Now, even though Charlemagne went on to bash what he called crazy right-wingers who oppose DEI, many on the left denounced him with all the usual left-wing attacks, calling him an Uncle Tom, saying he's becoming a right-wing grifter like Candace Owens, claiming that by criticizing DEI, he's giving cover to white supremacy, and so on. My take is that Charlemagne is wrong. DEI is not mostly garbage. It's entirely garbage. But the critique I want to make about what Charlemagne said is his point that it's well-intentioned. This is what many people who like to think they're being fair-minded often say, that the progressive agenda may have some unintended adverse consequences, but hey, at least progressives mean well. This is incorrect. Yes, you could say that in the broadest possible way, the left means well in the sense that their aim is to socially engineer a heaven on earth, a secular utopian society in which evils like racism and poverty and the nuclear family are eradicated, and everyone lives in perfect harmony with each other and equality and in harmony with the planet. That's their well-meaning fantasy. But to achieve this impossible dream, they believe they must destroy the flawed existing order entirely. Its economy, its morality, its borders, its scientific and biological assumptions, its technological advancements, every institution, every structure, every tradition, every value, all the way down beneath its foundations in order to build back better, as the Biden administration put it. And if this means that thousands or even millions or a hundred million people must be sacrificed along the way, then so be it because their sacrifice is ultimately for the greater good. You know the saying, to make an omelet, you have to break a hundred million eggs. That's just the price to pay for a perfectly equitable world in which the masses are ruled by a benevolent regime of experts and administrators who know what's best for the rest of us. This has been the well-meaning ideal behind every mass-murdering, misery-inducing communist regime of the 20th century. It's the well-intentioned dream behind the totalitarian surveillance state of the communist Chinese regime and the globalist elites who want to model the future after the Chinese communist example. It's the well-meaning goal behind the Democrat Party's push to fundamentally transform America. And you can see how well that's going. So when you hear someone trying to dismiss the devastation wrought by a well-meaning left-wing agenda, remind them that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Thanks for listening. Be seeing you.